So uh, right. just let's just get straight to it. So what? Uh, sure. Uh, what? First of all, to your understanding, what what is that thing? What what is an orb? To your understanding. Okay, and you're and I'm with you. I haven't really I haven't really figured out the proper title. So I just say solar orb or lunar orb. I feel like it's the best uh, straight to like kind of getting straight to the point description um, because it is a the essence of energy that is magnetized to me with permission from the sun or from the moon. Or, of course, if I'm doing telekinesis outside, when we're speaking of like work with Gaia, like hydrokinesis, atmokinesis, stuff like that, I always ask permission before I connect. So when I first started this, whenever I brought it to your attention, it was for healing because that's that was the first and foremost, because I recognize the connection as pure and as powerful. I knew that. I knew that much. And I knew that the the feeling that I got from it was something that would benefit others, although I didn't know at the time how. And so I just recorded that very first video of me connecting. And it was and, and that's why I was laughing so much in the video, because it was just this overwhelming sense of happiness, of joy, of love. And when I connect, a lot of people have asked me, does it can can I do this from Reiki or um, is Reiki or some other form of energy healing a good starting point for this? My answer to anything that's in regards to this is planetary essences or the energy of the planets or the sun, the star those are very highly conscious beings that their energy and their frequency is going to be way different than a, an object that's matter based or carbon based, such as the body, right. Or an object in your, in your house. Um, so when you're thinking in terms of that and the connection you have, yes, if you have an understanding of healing through or, or energy through healing, because you would be connecting with a soul, which is the closest thing you're going to get to a conscious being in terms of planets. Right. Um, you always ask for permission to connect, which is what I do. Once I ask for permission to connect, the energy is magnetized to me. The orb is there. I can make it bigger based on how deep I want the connection to go, which would be exactly the same format I would follow if I was wanting to do a very deep heated, like a very deep seated healing session on someone or um, a cleansing. So if you're able to understand energy and frequencies, frequencies, most notably, because I'm connecting to a specific frequency that these cosmic beings give off. Okay. And that's what they are. And they're very, very highly aware of us as we're aware of them. And so when you ask permission, this is something that took me daily, daily going out, just connecting in nature, connecting with the planets, connecting with the sun, connecting with the moon. But my very first connection with the moon that brought this in was a full surrender. Like, I mean, I'm talking, I went out there and I said, okay, I surrender my control of trying to control this energy. I surrender that the, the moon recognized that. And I literally, it dropped me to my knees. It dropped me to my knees. That energy was so powerful that that came through me that I sat there and I was crying for about 30 minutes because it was so joyful, but it was so powerful from that point on. I could connect to the moon. No problem. Same thing with the sun, but the sun was a bit different because the moon is a, is a feminine energy. The moon is uh, uh, the sun is a masculine energy. And so with the sun right now, a lot of people, I don't know if they're aware of it or not, but there is a specific type of energy that's coming in through our sun. It's a very high vibrational, very divine frequency. If you can tap into that, it's a very powerful energy. But all you have to do is be it's, it's with anything. If you want to connect to any vibrational frequency, you have to match that frequency. So if you're wanting to connect to something of that high of a vibration, that much of a divine vibration, you must be at the same vibrational frequency in order to magnetize that to you, to which you are attempting to attract. It's based in the law of attraction. Okay. That to which, unto, that unto which itself is attracted. So if we're, if you're wanting to attract a, a lunar orb or a solar orb, you must match the vibration of that conscious being. 
So, and you will know it because you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your heart chakra. You'll feel it in your crown chakra. You will feel that energy move through you. You know, it. anybody that's practicing telekinesis, that's watching this, you guys know energy well enough. You know when that connection is made, right? So the closest I can say would be if you have any sort of connection within the elements and you know how that connection feels, magnify it by about five to 10 times. That's the power that you're going to feel in that connection. But it's a very, very, if you're not ready for it, it's very over, it can be very overwhelming. And that's why it's very good to prepare yourself. Make sure that when you go into it, you're just simply open to receiving that energy because they're going to send to you whatever your intent is behind it. So if your intent is in love and gratitude and to use that energy for good, as we all hope everybody is, sorry. then it's going to. Sorry. sorry, sorry. You know what I realized? You had a major screw up. I had a major screw up too. We are not quite live. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we both messed up. I'm so sorry. But this, is See, this is recorded, but it's not live yet. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But look, keep going. Here, you know what? But you we know what's funny, Ken? I'm gonna say this real quick. We have, we have planned on this being at live at eight o'clock, and this is the universe simply just making us stick to our word. I swear. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, That's well, hilarious. Okay, so I'll. You're not the only one that's screwed up. Because I was wondering, like, why is nobody watching? And then I, you know, it's like, am I? Because usually that they just don't. They're not in. They're not interested. In me, they're not interested. They don't want to know about solar orbs. They don't want to know about lunar orbs. What are you talking about? Okay, we're we're finally live. Finally, finally, we are live. <laughs> sure. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So, so yeah, keep 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 going because it was recorded. Though, so. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, well, that works. Um, so basically, <laughs> basically, um, hang on, hang on. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb real quick because I don't want uh, anything to come in. Okay, so basically, um, what I was saying is that when you want to connect, when it's in terms of planetary, like the, the sun and the moon, you want your intent to be pure and to come from the highest vibration possible because all, these conscious beings, that's all they know, right? They're con these, the planets are conscious. So if you're at your highest vibration and you kind of, it's almost in a sense of, I would relate it to when I channel um, where I'm still present, but I, I kind of move myself aside and allow whatever I ask to come in, to come in at whatever strength. Cause some of the orbs are bigger. Some of them are smaller. Some of them more powerful than others, just depending on the day. So, and that is also a, a, a mirrored reflection of my vibration at that time. So when the orbs are more powerful, it's because that joy within me is a lot more fragrant. It's a lot more, it's a lot more apparent and people can feel that even through the videos, they're feeling it from the orbs and they're also feeling it because I'm also channeling, not just connecting, but I'm channeling that energy at the same time. So this is like a full blown connection from crown to root, root to crown and above. So um, number one, make sure before you connect that you understand um, what your intent is behind the connection. Because if you're trying to connect with anything other than love and gratitude, you're not going to probably get results. And if you do get results, it's not going to be, it's not going to be lasting and it's not going to be beneficial. It's probably not going to feel great. It's probably going to be a bit overwhelming. It might make you sick. Um, so honestly for me, it's at that point to where it's so natural that, but this is something that I would say to anybody before you practice anything outside of your own cultivation of energy, when you're attempting to connect with other frequencies, understand the frequencies and, uh, and get a feel for how they feel because it would be like, okay, when I connected to you that one time, right. I had to get a feel for what was going on before I could address anything. Right. And we won't go into detail about that, but you understand what I'm talking about. And so trying to tr and translating that in terms of a telekinetic ability, it's basically the same thing. It's getting a scan of the frequency, understanding that the frequency is the same vibration of me. It's a high vibration. I can feel it in my heart chakra. I know it's love. I know it's purity. And when I know that, then boom, it's magnetized to me because I'm vibrating at the same frequency of that, which I'm attracting. 
And that's the law of attraction in full play, but outside of the realm of manifestation, because the law of attraction applies to so many other things other than just manifestations. And most people don't think of it in that way, just like with the law of duality and other things like that, other laws within the universe. So, um, but this was something that I spent many, many days, you know, I've been dedicated to this every day, dedicating myself to understanding energy, understanding frequencies, understanding vibration, understanding healing to the best and most in depth I possibly can. And my approach to that through the conscious mind, meaning by finding that inner balance and harmony within me. And if I just simply sit there, like right now I could sit there and think of my intent of, okay, I want to cultivate energy. And I can sit there and I can literally move my eyes from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. And I can feel the energy flowing through my chakra system. I could connect to you right now and just prove it to you. Um, it's something that through my intent and my own knowing, I've become so comfortable with. So energy to me, in terms of the way that it's the way that I approach it and I practice it, it's just natural. Now, I'm not inside moving objects with my mind or anything because that's not something I focused on. But I have no doubt that if I were to apply that to what I wanted to do, I could do it. Um, but my but we're all here. We're all here and we're all meant to do certain things. Our abilities are meant to provide a certain aspect within a certain realm. And mine have been more centered around the planets and nature instead of matter and uh, carbon based items or objects now, instead of people, I will I'm not going to include people in that because people are obvi obviously carbon and matter based, but um, are carbon based. So, um, but it, it's really something that's just, um, if I had to give one word of advice, honestly, understand, understand energy to, to a degree to which you can, you can, you can fully understand not only your own vibrational frequency, but any vibrational frequency that you, that you're connecting to. Because I mean, you know, when your vibration's low, you know, when you're not in the best place to really do much of anything, whether it's cultivate or connect or anything. Um, so if you try to go outside with a lower vibrational frequency, you're probably not going to have as I get a look, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, that's just with anything when it comes to energy, the higher you can maintain the vibration, the higher the connection, the stronger, the connection, the stronger, the orb, the bigger, the orb. Um, at this point, when it comes to solar orbs, um, they are, they're literally like, they're, they're there all the time for me. That's something that's just, but I've worked very, very closely with that connection to Helios and with the energy coming in through Helios. And I say that the way that I do, because that is the importance of the connection. And I know that there's probably some out there that are not very, um, they're not, might, might not have as much awareness around that, but there is there's some very high vibrational frequencies of divine light coming in through our sun from the seven suns. And this is something that if you tap into, yes, it's fucking powerful. It's very powerful because it's, it's one of the highest vibrations. It's divine vibration, but you have to meet it. You see what I'm saying? You have to meet it. So if you can't match the vibration, you can't, I mean, you're not going to get a connection in which you're desiring. So it would be intent matched with your high vibration yeah 